just like a really true art, you know, because they could use fresh flowers, natural live flowers, and then they're using uh, live colors, right? And, and, and they're making beautiful artwork. Also, I do a lot of photo from the venue and the profession, like wedding planners and other like uh, photographers, you know, like a different vendor, we ch share the uh, reference, right? And then I also do a lot of times for the wedding showcases too. For example, for today's wedding, so we need to know the venue, right? And then uh, what they have a menu, and all those program, and then also, uh, you know, what, what's going on from the very beginning, first day in the morning to the end. You know, they should not learn about that one too. So they have to get the same feel uh, with the bride, you know. So I should, I think they should learn more about the same thing with the wedding planners, you know, classes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hi! Are you looking at it? They like to choose their dress first. And then uh, when they think about the color scheme, uh, for, for Indian, they, they're not usually wearing uh, their like wedding gown as here. They have their own traditional gown. So they like to uh, choose their own colors like fuchsia or, or, or silver or something. They have to decide the color scheme first. And then later on, uh, they have to decide for like overall color scheme. From there, also decide for the flower colors. 10 to 20% of the bride, they did not decide yet for the colors. They don't know what to do, you know. <laughs> I do have a linen swatches, and they have fresh flowers. So when we're talking, we kind of have a put all together. Floral designer need to know how to put together a design and they have to have a good eye, you know. So that's the big difference. Uh, floral design, it could be an employee, but, you know, or freelancers, you know, under somebody else, you could, you know, working on it. But florist, actually, you own your own. Or some design, they have to do more like Asian style. Some design more fusion style. Some design, they like more, like, you know, European style. They have to think about venue, where they're gonna go, high end, low end. They, sh they have to have looking at their own their budget first. Flower expense for their wedding usually like a 10% to 15%. It is very, very hard to to make simple but elegant, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. And that's what all, all, almost bride wants to have their uh, wedding in you know, a floral design like that too. You know what? Uh, the hot orange color is really popular right now. Today, I'm not using like a whole different blossom because it's just two or three different kind of orchids. That's a pink, right? There's, there's so many different shades of pink, and then when you put together, gives you, which it is looks pink, but it gives a good textures too. The fresh flowers, you know, the decoration on the cakes is the popular right now. If the bride said, well, I'm not going to do too much, I just want to have a, you know, but I like to have a fresh flowers, then why don't you do cake, cake design as simple as you can, and then you could put fresh flower design in a matching other, you know, other decorations, right? Usually the pastry is coming really light last minute because, you know, you know, they don't want to put it on the warm, you know, you know. So, but I haven't seen them very often. But sometimes I have to call them and let them know I'm ready for the flowers. Then I see it. <laughs> so when I have consultations on like, a, let's say springtime, and then, but we have to looking at talking about next year, summertime. <laughs> so we have to really be careful for the next year, summertime, so what's gonna, is the flowers gonna be available or not. So it's a very sensitive matter. Outside the ceremony, the design is gonna be different. So we want to do really lush garden look design, you know. And then for hotel uh, reception, in, in, indoor reception, it's kind of a little more formal, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. classic and formal design. You know, if it's like kind of low design, like not tall, high design, low design on the centerpiece, of course they could take home. Almost 40% of my bride, they out of state out of town. Not everybody likes my flowers, you know, but I shop too, right? <laughs> so we have to have a good connections. I ask them, the, what, is, what do you like about the venue? And then what is your vision of the wedding? So you, would you want to do more like modern style or classic style? And then you know, how about, the, how about let's talking about then your color scheme. They book like year before or six months before. 
and then after they book, book the you know, flowers and then they get to see all other design, right? And the color, they change your mind. Is the Asian, um, the bride, they like really colorful colors, like hot fuchsias, hot orange, hot red, like that. So today, uh, I suggest them to have uh, um, two different color schemes so that our ceremony is gonna be all orange to burgundy, like a sunrise. And then for our uh, reception, it's going to be totally different color with hot fuchsia. Like to put the candles in them? Huh? The candles we need too? a candle, big candle. Can I have one more here? That one? Uh -huh. yes, oh. Wonderful. Don't put it on the fingerprint. <laughs> 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 uh -huh.